My name is Kimiko Gunji, and uh, I am a, right now a um, professor of emeritus. And I started this new Japan house in uh, 1998. So that's what the, my relationship with Japan house. After you, I retired in 2011, still I do you know, teach some and uh, involving many activities here. Excellent, excellent, okay. Um, can you tell us the history about the cherry blossoms oh, here? Cherry blossoms. So this house uh, started with a donation of two tea rooms by the Urasenke Tea School. That's where my uh, tea uh, degree is from. <laughs> and uh, so it's still I, sitting on your glass. my glass. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So <laughs> it's kind of nice and cherry is falling down the, yes. right now. But anyway, um, since um, their donation made it this possible, I tried uh, having the, the, at that time, Grandmaster the 15th, um, Dr. Sen, to receive honorary doctorate from the university. And it took up a while, but 2007, university decided to give him an honorary doctorate. So he came over for the graduation to receive it. So when he came, uh, he parked out there and then came into Japan house, had a bowl of tea, and then he was heading to the assembly hall. Mm -hmm. So we all walked with him and the pathway, nothing growing. And he said, wouldn't that be nice to have a cherry blossom growing around this pathway? So I said, yes. However, originally we were told that this climate here was too cold to grow cherry blossom. So that was the way I didn't really start it planting because from the originally I wanted to have cherry blossoms here. So I was really excited. So that's the conversation. One word he said, isn't that nice cherry blossom? I said, yes. And then, but I wasn't quite sure whether that's going to happen or not. But after he went back and soon after that, office people called me and asking, is there any uh, cherry blossoms that like a Yoshino cherry blossom is the most beautiful, that admired Japanese people admired Yoshino's cherry blossom. So then they inquired because its regulation was Japan cannot send any plant. Mm -hmm. So then if we have Yoshino cherry, uh, you know, he would be very happy to donate. So I checked, I contacted Aboriginal people. They said, yes, we could get one. That's how it started. That's how it yes, started, with just one. <laughs> one word. And then he said, 50 cherry blossom. So that's why you see all the pathway. We have 38 or something. Rest of it go went all over around Japan house now. Wow. So it's been, uh, that was a year later, so 2008 all these cherry blossoms planted. He sent uh, his own gardener from Japan, made sure everything grows well, and surely, you know, started growing be beautifully every year, last four or five years. Just people around, around the community <laughs> really wanted to see the cherry blossoms. So. Awesome, awesome, okay. Um, how have these trees become an important part of the Japan house? Well, that's the question I was just wondering, you know, how, but it's, cherry blossom has been admired in Japan, you know, for, from ancient times. Japan, as you know, is an uh, elongated island, so then from the northern, northern part to the southern part, mm -hmm. um, early part of March started southern part all the way to the uh, maybe mid-April, cherry blossom start blooming. And people just love seeing this cherry blossom, because as you can see, it's a pale pink and um, yeah. the nature of the cherry blossoms when it blooms so gorgeous but once it's bloom the strong wind rain and just started falling down just as now and but yet even after on the ground is so gorgeous yes. so people love it and just uh, around people around here also acquire that taste so that's how uh, kind of attraction around you know, around, uh, I would say, Shantan Abana community. So that become a very important part of the spring activity of Japan House. Okay, wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about the types of cherry blossoms that are here? Well, so then originally, uh, the Dr. Sen requested Yoshino cherry trees. Mm -hmm. However, um, they thought maybe uh, toward the no northern 
north part of the garden might need a little bit stronger uh, species. So we have a couple, I don't know how many, but surgeon, uh, so-called surgeon. Uh -huh. And then as you, you can see some of the weeping cherry. Mm -hmm. So I think those are the three kinds of what I know has been you know, planted. Three different kinds? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you talk us through the six stages? Is it pronounced saku sakura? Yeah, sakura. Sakura. Can you talk about uh, the six I'm stages? I'm not a botanist, so I'm not quite sure six stages. Okay. <laughs> but as I said, buds start blooming. So in Japan, in, in like the Midwest, we always hear about um, how cold, you know, how hot going to be. But instead, TV, any broadcasting, they started announcing uh, cherry blossom um, with a forecast. Uh -huh. So then they say such and such a mountain, just 30 percent or 40 percent, 50 percent. People hear about 50 percent. They drop working. That they got come to here. <laughs> come here or come in Japan, everywhere beautifully cherry blossom blooming. So, but here, weather, as you know, we cannot predict when actually start blooming. So it will be really nice cherry blossom festival day, but one year will be cherry blossom bloom so early, one year late. But this year just happened to be, let's see, two, one week ago, Sunday, uh, Japan House uh, have once a week so-called music program, mm -hmm. and they had outside music program. On that day, cherry blossom bloom beautifully. So. Uh, I was told like uh, the uh, musician came like I think it just happened to be this week this past week was uh, jazz you uh, by jazz group came mm -hmm. and then they performed right over the veranda and uh, um, the director uh, Jennifer was telling me that uh, back of the driveway they had a small tent and had some some food and ca um, cookies and mm -hmm. tea or available and so many people she said probably a thousand people walked thousand wow yes but just marble people just to see the trees and yeah kind of she, and then also it's outside so yeah. safer so people just enjoy so much we often say just you bring the uh, lunch box and under the cherry tree have a you mm -hmm. know enjoy looking at at the same time enjoy eating what do you think the cherry blossoms uh, mean to people here? Why do you think they're so attractive and so uh, well, popular? It's actually, you know, in Japan, uh, uh, as you can see, as I mentioned, that cherry blossom blooms so gorgeously, but never stays long, yeah. just like our life, right? So then when it's beautifully blooming, why not enjoy that ephemeral quality that people, I think, cherish? You know, you cannot, you know, oh, I can wait until next week. No, it's gone. So it's when it's really blooming, they want to enjoy. Just like, you know, uh, to the fullest bloom. So, but just not nice yes, <laughs> stuff. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, very nice. This is the way, so cherry blossom, full of buds is beautiful, you know, very tiny, cute. And then start blooming like this, it's a spectacular, gorgeous. Yes. And wind comes flowing around. So we call a uh, florally, gorgeous thing of florally of cherry uh, petals. Mm -hmm. And then Peter go on the ground. Yeah. It's also gorgeous. Yes. And then after this is over, the, you can see some of the uh, leaves around. That is called hazakura. You know, sakura, hazakura, I mean leaf cherry blossom. Uh -huh. So even when green start coming, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. all the way stage. So they kind of uh, superimpose our life into cherry blossom. <laughs> so bud, baby, and then sprout, and then we have to all go on. But how beautifully live your life just like a cherry blossom. It, it might be short, but enjoy as much as you can. Wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, that's all the questions that he had. Did oh. you have anything else that you wanted to add about the oh, cherry blossoms? I just hope that uh, you know everyone enjoy this um, very um, valuable um, Donation from Dr. Sen. By the way, Dr. Sen turned last week 99, 99 years old. Wow. Strong and very dignified. And so I really you know, appreciated his, his one word became such an, 
um, center of the people's attraction and enjoyment. So, so we are very grateful to him.